My goal as a scientist is to understand the process of embryonic development. And embryonic development is a fascinating process. So we as humans have 37 trillion cells in our body. But yet we all arose from a single fertilized cell, where it goes from one cell to two cell, two cell to four cell, where it's repeatedly duplicating its genetic content and dividing into two identical daughter cells. And during this process of cell division, it reaches the 64 to 128 cell stage. What happens at this stage is truly profound and remarkable that these 64 to 128 cells called stem cells, they make the choice in terms of what direction or lineage they want to go. So the cells in this stage choose that they want to go and make a heart cell, they want to go and make a kidney cell, they want to go and make a liver cell and ultimately give rise to all the tissues and organs in the human body. So the big goal of my science or my research and my team is to understand how this process of cell cycle is coupled with the fate or choice of the cell in terms of what it wants to go and make. And this process is extremely important to understand because it allows us to understand fundamental embryonic development you know, in humans and in mammals, but also it's very important to understand the dysregulation that happens in diseases, typically cancers, where you have this unchecked proliferation and unchecked cell cycle, and the typical consequence of aging, where the cells don't have the ability to cycle so fast. We address these fundamental biological questions by using and developing state-of-the-art molecular biology, microscopy, genomics, and computational approaches that allows us to study at single cell level how cell cycle crosstalks with cellular decision making. Ultimately, we combine all of this together in an interdisciplinary fashion to decode fundamental biological relationships at the single cell level. So we want to study the biology at a single cell level. And what we need is new methods that address these questions at single cell level. And we try to use a systems approach to combine the experimental methods with the computational methods to integrate them together to make fundamental predictions on what the cells do in a normal system and what cells do in a dysregulated system such as cancers or diseases. SDU and DS uh, provide me with a platform uh, to do interdisciplinary research working collaboratively across different departments. My research requires high throughput technologies such as microscopy, time-lapse imaging, DNA sequencing, and advanced computational biology. At SDU and within my research unit, we have the necessary infrastructure and my group leverages key excellence centers such as SDU eSciences Center, Danish Biomolecular Imaging Centers, as well as High Performance Computing Abacus Cluster. So my research is state of the art, uh, generating a lot of data, and we are building new tools, new methods, and new technologies to try and address at the single cell level how early embryonic development occurs.